Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I've got some good news on the front of emulation for games. Now, some of you may be unaware, but one of the consoles that has been the most difficult so far to crack and actively emulate has been the original Xbox. And this is quite unfortunate because there are actually some really, really good exclusives that came out for the system. While there were games like Crimson Skies and Mech Assault that can actually be traced back to franchises originally on the PC, there were still some utterly unique new games as well, such as for instance Blood Wake, the likes of which we've never had another game quite like since. So it's easy to see why emulating the Xbox would actually be an important thing for video game history overall. So it's good news that we have people working on emulating the original Xbox, despite the great difficulties that it has entailed so far. And yet, despite these difficulties, I'm quite happy to announce that great strides have been made. Take for instance the recent good news regarding the latest CXBX Reloaded update from March 5th this year. Now before I go any further, I must mention the fact that I'm actually a Patreon supporter of this specific emulator group. And I have been so for months. So I do feel it's necessary to mention this before we dive in the rest of the way. But now that that's done, let's dive in. With this latest build, games such as Jet Set Future Radio are now actually playable on CXBX Reloaded. Granted, there are a few audio issues and some graphical issues as well, but the fact of the matter is that this is head and shoulders above what we were able to accomplish before. And this is of course not just exclusive to Jet Set Future Radio either. Some games such as Mech Assault have actually found to be playable, despite some more glaring issues. And while there are other games that are technically in-game, but with far too many graphical issues to actually be playable, the fact that they are actually able to boot at all is quite an achievement on its own, and it shows that we are heading in the right direction. Of course, CXBX Reloaded is not the only Xbox emulator in the works, as there is also Xkimu. And while Xkimu has had success playing games such as Mech Assault before, Xkimu has its fair share of issues as well. For a start, it runs much, much more slowly, and in addition to this, Xkimu does not have audio support as of yet. I would argue, therefore, that CXBX right now is probably your best bet for Xbox emulation anytime soon. However, Xkimu is still worth keeping an eye on. For those who are curious, I will of course be providing links in the description below of video of both Xkimu and CXBX Reloaded in action for those of you who wish to see how these two emulators have progressed. Needless to say, I look forward to the progress that both emulators may make by the end of this year. If they're able to make certain games playable, I may even decide to do Let's Plays on them, as I'm sure being able to play original Xbox games in full 1080 at 60 FPS would be quite the treat, and it would be quite the treat for those of you who like the original Xbox to watch as well. But until then, hope to see you guys again soon. Take care, ASAP.